I'd like to summarize for our viewers um, what, what we've been talking about here, Dr. Smith. Okay. So hormone creams cannot be accurately measured and may have chemical preservatives and binders in them which have toxic side effects. So then would it be better to take hormones orally? Yes, Jordis, when taking hormonal herbs, taking them orally is better. It is always important to be tested first. Then with a saliva testing, you know, with, a, with a saliva test, you know exactly which hormones are deficient and which are excessive. To help the body balance hormones, I recommend herbs first because they are whole plants. The body can safely and totally use the hormonal herbs as estrogen or progesterone, depending upon the herb used. Some herbs would be recommended if a person was estrogen dominant, and other herbs would be recommended if they're progesterone dominant. Well, what about plant-derived hormones like bioidentical hormones or progesterone or estrogen that is plant-derived? First, it's important to understand that plant-derived hormones are not whole, complete hormone nutrients like herbs. The hormone is extracted out of an herb, for example, and then bottled or put into a cream. Well, how do hormonal herbs compare with the plant-derived hormones? Herbs are whole plants. Nature provides everything in it that's necessary to assist the human body in balancing hormones. So they can be metabolized fully and they are safe for both short and long-term use. When used as directed, they have no adverse side effects. Because plant-derived hormones are extracted from an herb and not the whole plant, they are not safe for the long-term use. Taking them for longer than three to six months on the average may cause other hormone imbalances. Saliva hormone testing is required to recommend and monitor when they should be used and discontinued. If some severe cases of hormone imbalance, in some severe cases of hormone imbalance, plant-derived hormones can be used therapeutically for short-term effect to raise or lower hormone levels. But as soon as the saliva tests indicate, switching to herbs to maintain hormone levels is best. Though both hormonal herbs and plant-derived hormones can be used in severe cases of hormone imbalance, I prefer hormonal herbs over plant-based hormones because of the whole food, whole plant factor. Well, what's, what is the best way to take these plant-derived hormones if, if you recommend them? Sublingual is the oral, the best oral administration for plant-derived hormones. Sublingual means that the hormone tablet is held under the tongue until it is dissolved and it's absorbed by the salivary glands in the mouth. Dosages can be measured when using sublingual tablets, and they are transported to the cells much faster through the salivary glands. Plant-derived hormones taken orally, not sublingual, will lose a great percentage of their potency in the process of digestion. Well, Dr. Smith, are there other causes of hormone imbalance besides imbalanced levels of hormone production, like too much estrogen or too little progesterone? Yes, Joris, mineral deficiencies can lead to hormone imbalances. How's that? Well, think of it this way. A train transports people to their destination. Minerals transport hormones to the destination, of, which is cells. From a tissue mineral hair analysis, I can evaluate your mineral levels to determine if you have sufficient amount of minerals to transport your hormones to the cells. If, a min if the minerals are clinically insufficient or deficient, hormones can become excessive or deficient in the blood. Then when your physician is making a diagnosis for a hormone from a hormone blood test alone, your physician may assume that there's a problem with the production of the hormones from the glands when the real cause is a mineral imbalance. Also from a tissue mineral hair analysis, I can identify if, there, if there's any toxic metals like mercury or aluminum that can also interfere with hormone balance. So for a comprehensive evaluation of your, homo, your hormones, you really need three tests, and that would be a saliva hormone test, a tissue mineral <laughs> a tissue mineral hair analysis. It's a tongue twister. Yeah, and a blood hormone test. That's right. That's what's required for a comprehensive evaluation. I often find, however, that having a saliva and a hair sample tested is sufficient. Saliva and hair testing are cellular tests of hormone production and distribution, 
which a blood test does not. At Advanced Clinical Nutrition, we provide four types of saliva hormone tests. One for women who are having menstrual cycles, one for those in perimenopause, one for women in menopause or who have had a hysterectomy, and another one for men. Well, with the many, many symptoms of PMS, the daily inconvenience of nonstop menstruation, the pain of endometriosis or the fear associated with precancerous tissue, it's no wonder women have elected in the past to have a hysterectomy, especially in cases where they're not aware that there are other options such as you provide through clinical nutrition. Let's see what Jane did instead of having a hysterectomy in our segment of What Clients Say. All right, Jane and her husband delayed having a family for 10 years until they had both achieved their PhDs and secured their tenure as professors at MSU. However, when her physician told her she had to have a hysterectomy after, diagnose, after di being diagnosed with endometriosis and precancerous uterine tissue as the reason she had failed to get pregnant, Jane researched other options and then a friend referred her to you, Dr. Smith at Advanced Clinical Nutrition. Yes, when Jane told me her story, I said that I would be glad to help her if she would first contact her physician to see how far off he was comfortable with postponing her hysterectomy without putting Jane at risk. She called me a few days later and told me that he had said three months but no longer. I said that's good because three months is the least amount of time that the body needs to grow new healthy cells and tissue. Well what happened next? Well two and a half months after starting her clinical nutrition program her physician called her in to schedule an exam and to prepare for her hysterectomy. You didn't get the three months. No, we didn't get the full three months. Jane, but Jane called me right after the exam to say my physician could not find any sign of endometriosis or the precancerous tissue. He said that I have new cells growing and pink healthy tissue. Jane and her husband could not have been happier and off they went to make babies. <laughs> well, that's great news. Every woman deserves a chance to help her body heal and save organs and glands that God gave us. That is so true. Women need to know that even when it seems too late to heal the body and balance hormones naturally, it may not be. And parents, give your adolescents a healthy start by contacting our office and scheduling a hormone saliva test and a mineral tissue test at the onset of puberty. Well, just think how healthy their grandchildren will be. Dr. Smith, if a woman is already in menopause or has had a hysterectomy or a man in andropause, should these saliva and hair tests be obtained? Most definitely. You see, the adrenal and thyroid glands are backups for hormone production when the female and male sex glands can no longer produce these hormones. So in these cases, an adrenal hormone saliva test and a thyroid hormone saliva test may be required. Stress is a big factor contributing to um, adrenal and thyroid dysfunction. When the function of the adrenals and the thyroid glands ha are improving, or have improved, this will automatically improve female and male hormone levels. Well, Dr. Smith, you've shared several causes of hormone imbalance. Are there other causes to be considered? Yes, Jordis, liver detoxification is very important in hormone balancing. For example, the liver can store excess amounts of estrogen, and this buildup in the liver can continue to perpetuate estrogen dominance. Other causes include dysfunctions of the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland, which are located in the brain. I find these are often at the root of male hormone imbalance. Well, Dr. Smith, I'd like to thank you for sharing all those wonderful secrets, and we've run out of time, so um, thank you for tuning in to Dr. Smith's Secrets to Healing. I'm Dr. Smith, and we look forward to more sharing more secrets.